Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a double crochet decrease. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. I've got some fun new things coming up, like a granny square dress, so subscribe to learn more about that. And here I'm starting out, and I'm just doing a row, a little bit, of, actually about three double crochets here. These are just normal do double crochets, and um, if you don't know how to do that, I'll link my video below on how to make a double crochet. So now I'm going to do the decrease. So I'm going to start like I would with making a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch there, and I'm going to pull up a loop. So I've got one, two, three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over again. I'm going to pull through two of those loops. But instead of finishing the stitch now, I'm going to yarn over again, and then I'm going to put my hook through that next stitch right there. And I'm going to yarn over and pull up another loop. So now I'm going to yarn over one more time and pull through two loops. Then I'm going to yarn over again. So there's three loops on the hook now. I'm going to yarn over again. I'm going to pull through all three hooks on that, or all three loops on that hook. And right there is a double crochet decrease. And um, you see I have three regular, and then I have the double crochet decrease. So I'm making one, or I'm making two double crochets into one. And now I'm gonna do a few more double crochets and I'm gonna show you how to make a double crochet decrease with three stitches from the last row. So here, I'm going to do this, basically the same thing I did before. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna put my hook through that next stitch right there. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over again and I'm going to pull through two loops. Then I'm going to yarn over again, go put my hook through that next stitch, yarn over, and then I'm going to pull up another loop. So I'm going to yarn over again, I'm going to pull through two loops. So now I have three like before, but now I want to go into another decrease. So I'm going to yarn over again, put my hook through that next stitch, yarn over, and pull up another loop. So now I have, then I pull through two, now I have four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to yarn over again and pull through all four. And now I have made a triple decrease right there. So you can see right there that I had three and I made it into one stitch there. And now from there you can continue to continue your pattern. You can continue to just make your double crochets along your row there. And some some designers, they'll tell you in the notes if when they want you to make your decrease a double decrease, so two, or if they want you to make a triple decrease, so one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, please consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the like button on this video. Happy crocheting and thanks again for watching. Have a great day.